everybody. Welcome back to the Teachings of Joseph. I'm Cindy Edison. Today we are talking more about beliefs and perspective. We've been talking about beliefs a lot um, because they are the foundation of how we create our own reality, right? Thank you, Seth, for that. So as we understand more about who we are and more about how we create the physical reality that we experience um, and how it relates to vibrational timelines, um, we are shifting perspectives. So here we are on the precipice of the new earth consciousness. So what does that mean for how we operate and how we create? Well, we always create from a perspective and that perspective is vibrational. We are creating now and have always been creating our reality from the perspective of the third dimension of contrast, which offers vibrational patterns that are out of alignment with our soul, right? Out of alignment with our soul's vibration, with our soul's perspective, ultimately with the new earth vibration and the new human aspects vibration the new expanded version of us in our physicalness. So we are the physical aspect of our non-physical soul. And as we move into this new earth space, the new earth vibration, we continue to be the physical aspect of our soul, but we are trans forming. We are transforming everything about this aspect. What a time for us to be alive, right? What a time. It's January 24th, and we have been on a ride that's been crazy. And most of you are teachers that are listening to this. So we are all here for this purpose, right? And that purpose is to assist in the ushering forward or ushering into, I might say, Um, the human collective into this new vibration, which means we have to do it first. We have to get it first, right? So let's talk about perspective today and beliefs. Just did a long podcast, longer than normal, about beliefs and perspectives and in and out of alignment. So I want to move on now to focus on the perspective with which we create I'm going to give you the list that Joseph gave us in their volume one in the Allow Your Soul to Lead series of the soul's perspective. This is our new perspective. It's a perspective of the vibration of the new human aspect. We are creating, we are co-creating that new aspect by offering our physical vibration in collaboration with the non-physical soul right? And from that vibrational agreement comes the new aspect of us. It's very exciting. So anyway, I'm going to get right into this. The purpose of this is so we can create a new belief system uh, for not only for ourselves, but for the human collective. And we do that for the collective by exampling it right? Somebody says, oh, I want that. I want to know how you did that. This is how you do it. And it is creation at its best because we understand that we are creating through the use of, the knowledge of, the workings of the universal truths, universal laws, right? That's what we're going to operate by in this new vibration. So let's get right into this. And as you hear me reading these, um, I want you to put them in a perspective to what your current beliefs are. Current beliefs we are creating from in the third dimension of contrast and what we are manifesting from those beliefs. And I'll just say this once. I've been saying it a lot lately. Thank you, Abraham. Abraham says, a belief is just a thought you keep on thinking So keep that in mind as we move forward. It's all of our choosing, everybody. Okay, so here we go. From our soul's perspective, there is only now. 
from the soul's perspective, there is no linear time, only eternal timing. From the soul's perspective, there's no place to get to. You are always here. From the soul's perspective, there is no end, only unending transformation. From the soul's perspective, there is no death, only eternal life, ever evolving through boundless energetic forms. From the soul's perspective, there is no judgment, only acceptance. From the soul's perspective, there is no pain, only expansion of love experienced in different forms. From the soul's perspective, there is no lack, only abundance. From the soul's perspective, there is no doubt, only knowing. From the soul's perspective, there are no mistakes. There is only vibrational choosing. There is only experience. From the soul's perspective, there is no sickness, only well-being. From the soul's perspective, there is only respectful selfishness because you are one with all. From the soul's perspective, life is a series of vibrational experiences of different created realities. We draw the situation to us through our vibrational asking to the attraction-based universe then create and choose an experience by choosing to see the situation in a way that will result in the experiencing of the emotion we are looking for. It is always choosing to experience things from the premise of love. From the soul's perspective, all souls are equally worthy parts of God. There is never a missing piece. All are accounted for and loved unconditionally. From the soul's perspective, there is only physical well-being. From the soul's perspective, there are no contradictions. From the soul's perspective, all earthly purpose is for the expansion of love, the expansion of the individual and collective soul manifest, experienced in evolving depth and in limitless ways. From the soul's perspective, when one soul expands in love, the entire universe expands with it. It, after all, is our purpose. From the soul's perspective, there is only love, the eternal oneness that is God. From the soul's perspective, all things are possible. From the soul's perspective, it sees through the eyes of God, it is God, and in turn, it is the essence of you. So that's their short list, okay? That's the foundation that we are moving into uh, vibrationally, and that is where we will form our beliefs from. That means that any thought that we have, that we see, that we choose, that we, you know, kind of think about, uh, think about choosing, I would hope you're thinking about choosing your thoughts, um, and where they come from, what vibration they are a match to, comes from this list. So if you take a couple of your current beliefs and put them up against this list, it will show you where you are choosing from the out of alignment space. 
and ultimately creating the reality that goes in that space. That's a vibrational match to that space. Remember, every manifestation, including your physical reality, is a vibrational agreement. And it all starts with our choosing of thoughts that turn into beliefs, that turn into momentum, that turn into creations, that turn into our physical experiences. So that is a snapshot of this new perspective that we're moving into. We are going to continue to talk about beliefs and um, the importance of them. I'll tell you a story. I have a good friend um, who said to me, very spiritual teacher, um, and we were talking about beliefs last week, and she said, how do you get around this belief? There's a belief out there that says the 5G towers are interfering with our DNA and our energetic system, and they are put up to take us down or whatever. Um, I love her, but I stopped listening at that point. Because when somebody says to me, first of all, it didn't resonate with me because it's not a belief that I hold. It's something somebody said. It is true on a vibrational timeline. It's true in the out of alignment position. And if you believe it's true, you will um, experience the manifestation of it because the universe will respond to your banging of it is true, it is true, it is true. And your vibration that you're sending out is telling the universe, this is what I want to experience. The universe doesn't say, don't believe that it's not true. The universe says, I love you, so I will give you what you're asking for. And it matches that vibration. So my advice to her was, don't choose it. You know, there's nothing to get around. You just don't choose it. We are so powerful. And this comes back to our responsibility in uh, the creation of our own reality, the creation of our own experience, right? We are choosing every single bit of it every single day, doing it by choosing our thoughts and choosing what we're focusing on. If, you, if uh, that doesn't make sense to you, that's fine. Um, it's all indicated by what you're experiencing. Everything I'm saying here, everything Joseph is teaching, everything Abraham is teaching, everything Seth taught us, um, and so many other wonderful teachers, you can decipher for yourself what is true by looking at what you are manifesting. And when you don't like what you are manifesting, or if you are living in fear, manifesting emotions and feelings that are alienation, rejection, um, loneliness, anger, despair, whatever that is, all of those emotions are indications from your ego that are telling you that you are choosing thoughts, you've run down a rabbit hole, you're choosing the thoughts that are out of alignment with who you really are. So the manifestations are your indication of that. Everything physical that you live is an indication of what you are choosing what perspective you are choosing from. So this is the opportunity for us at this time, the time is now, um, to adopt and accommodate this new perspective of love and start conjuring our beliefs from a new perspective so we can move forward. You cannot take your old beliefs that are conjured in contrast and based in fear with you to the new earth. Can't get there. You cannot get there. And there are unlimited beliefs, right? Because we've been here for eons of time. Lots of time. <laughs> lots of time, lots of experiences, lots of interactions and influences from other people who have um, some indoctrinated us with their beliefs and we have been forced, you know, and that's the old way of thinking. Of course, you're not forced to do anything unless you put yourself in vibrational agreement with it. We are responsible. There's no more blaming. There's no more saying I was made to do this or I had to do this. There's a lot of that going on today and people are falling for it. Stand up. 
stand up in your sovereignty, stand up in your um, human aspect of God body. You are a representation of the God consciousness in your body. We are moving the human collective forward out of that way of thinking, out of that realm of consciousness that offers the contrast that we are and have been choosing, right? All we have to do is choose something different. It is a completely different way of existing here. We don't know what that's like. That's why Joseph is saying, let us guide you. Let us lead you. You don't know these waters, right? Uncharted waters. A new meaning for the phrase, fear of the unknown, right? So fear of the unknown from the third dimension fits right in because it's out of alignment. When we're moving into a higher vibration or a more expanded vibration of us, there's no fear there. There is only excitement and inspiration and adventure. It's an adventure because that pathway is in alignment. So there's no fear in alignment, right? So I'm going to cut this short today um, because I really wanted to just give you the new perspective, the foundation for our new beliefs. We're going to follow this podcast up with many uh, as this whole teaching unfolds. And the purpose, again, of Joseph's teaching is to assist us in moving more into the awareness of who we really are. And who we really are is this new perspective. So do a little homework, you know, think about the beliefs you have, look at what you've manifested for yourself, look at the life, look at the physical experience you're having, decide one thing that you want to change, adopt a new belief, conjure a new belief based on the new perspective and see what you get. (laughs) This is a journey, you guys. This is the process of creation. We are now in the process of creating a new belief system from which we will experience. All of us, we're all part of it, right? We are collaborators in this new earth coming into its physical form. They can't do it without us. We're really important, you know? We're important to this whole process. So we need to get on board here and start shifting, start realizing that this vibration that is sitting in front of us, how beautiful is that? And start choosing differently so we can experience it and tell others. It's really fun. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this. If you have questions, email me at uh, info at the teachings of joseph.com. Our website should be up soon. The new one, the old one's still up. You can certainly get us through there. Um, visit us at the teachings of joseph.com. The books are there. The foundation, their foundational books. Our quotes are there. More foundation. The quotes are foundation. Everything is foundation at this point because we are creating it. We are building this earth, okay? We are building it. You know, I, I work part-time for my brother who is a, a builder here where we live. And it has been quite an interesting experience for me because I come from a background of advertising, right? Marketing and advertising. So I move into this whole new industry where there is um, a whole new perspective for me about this building process, which is one reason why I think Joseph gave me the opportunity to work with him. Best boss that ever lived. He's amazing. And he has taught me so much. But I can liken this whole process uh, to building a home. He builds multi-million dollar homes and every single piece is held by one man, right? Men come together and they pour in their specialties and they all do it. It's all hand done. Every piece is hand done. It's an amazing process to watch that I never knew before. So I know the importance of a sturdy foundation, right? Especially on a 10,000 square foot home that is housing brick and stone and 
you know, hundreds of pounds of light fixtures and just so much weight, that foundation has to be solid. And so Joseph has been giving us this foundation for our movement into the new earth. It's a wonderful analogy and it really works well. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks for dropping in. Subscribe if you haven't already um, to our content, if you like it. And uh, check us out on Instagram at The Teachings of Joseph. We're there. It's a good foundation building exercise is to uh, get in the habit of reading those every day. So here we are. We are setting sail for the new earth vibration. Welcome aboard, guys. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>